T3492, 30 minute episode of This Is Your Life Show 6. <coughs> Hello, I'm Mike Willisey. Welcome to This Is Your Life. I'm standing in Channel 7's famous Studio A, which is now being reconverted into an ultra modern colour studio. It's here that tonight's guest of honour first climbed to the top of the music charts and made the highest rating television programs of the 60s. From the television centre of Australia, The Young Show with the Big Sound. Well, that's the man, Johnny O'Keefe. A new kind of excitement, a new kind of dynamism. An entertainer who, as long as there is an audience, lives and gives 24 hours a day. Now, Johnny thinks he is coming here tonight with Mr. Alan Healy, Managing Director of Festival Records, to present an award. He's in for a surprise. And here, helping me with the surprise, is Bob Rogers. Evening, Michael. Thanks for coming, Bob. Bob, of course, was a big name in the rock and roll Australian era, and as a result, has produced now his own book on that rock era in Australia. And Bob is going to help me surprise Johnny O'Keefe tonight. I think Johnny is now coming from the makeup room, so we'll get ready to surprise him. Oh, I put it all apart. Yeah. Hi, Bob. Hello. 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 That's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got a station, meeting John. That's what you're here for. G'day, John. Hello, <laughs> Mike. You're here. i got a surprise for you. <laughs> what is it? Johnny O'Keefe, this is your life. <laughs> John, you were born January 19, 1935, the second son of Raymond and Thelma O'Keefe, weighing in at around seven and a half pounds. Your birth sign is Capricorn the Goat, and as fate would have it, your first big hit. The song we're hearing now is titled You Hit the Wrong Note, Billy Goat. How did that song happen? Uh, Bill Haley gave it to me. I met Bill Haley uh, at the uh, Chelsea restaurant. I'd always been a fan of his, and I was very inspired by rock and roll music. and. Uh, Bill said uh, to the, some of the people at the festival, I think this bloke, you know, might be a big star someday. Uh, and uh, he sent me out a song called You Hit the Wrong Note, Billy Goat, which was the last uh, 78 released on festival, actually. Yeah, and you hit the right note. With it. <laughs> You're so active as a child that at the age of four and a half, you become a rambler. Yes, John would climb the gates and go walk about. Oh, that's the voice of your mother, Thelma, of course. And here with her is your father, Raymond O'Keefe, sister and brother, Barry O'Keefe, QC. Yeah. Mrs. O'Keefe, John refuses to go to kindergarten. Why yes, was that? That's right, Mark. Well, he said he wanted to go to Waverley College with his brother Barry. And I said, well, you can't go because they won't have you. You're too young. And he said, have you asked them, Mum? And had you? Well, I did. And they accepted him and he was the youngest and smallest boy ever to enter Waverley. And then, Mr. O'Keefe, before you become Mayor of Waverley, as a young married man, you play piano and lead your own band as Ray O'Keefe in the Club Royales. Now, did you ever dream that your son would be Australia's King of Rock? No, Mr. Willisie, I didn't. Uh, I hoped that he would have joined me in the business, but that was not to be. And he chose a profession which he has made a tremendous success of. And Mother and I and the family are tremendously proud of him and we're glad he's our son. Barry is a brother. How about John? I mean, you're a pretty close-knit family. 
John was a fella who always put everything he had into whatever he did. John's trademark was style. I think it still is. We had lots of fun when we were kids. We really did. We were great mates then and we still are. I love him very much. It's a pleasure to meet a close-knit family. Our key family, thank you very much for being with us thank tonight. You. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. John, you're a good student at Waverley. Yes. Never miss a day, but you get into a lot of mischief. Mm. And you also make a lifelong friend. John would run where others would walk. <laughs> Your teacher from Waverley College has flown up from Goulburn to be with your brother Mazzarini. <laughs> brother, John's always getting into things at school, but you stand up for him. Why? Well, I suppose he's, you know, his heart was always in the right place and I believed in him then and uh, I believe in him now. John will probably remember that I once said that, uh, O'Keefe, you'll lead a revolution. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Brother Mazzarini, thanks very much for taking thanks your part. John. John. <laughs> you graduate from Waverley, spend six months in the Air Force and crystallise your decision to be a singer. You're so determined to be a performer that you sing for nothing at the Bondi Pavilion, at the Leichhardt Police Boys Club and for the Spastic Centre Younger Set. Of course, he was good at painting houses too. <laughs> An old friend who teaches you music, <laughs> Gus Mersey, Australia's great piano player. Good to see you, good to see you. Mike? What do you mean he's good at painting houses, Gus? Well, it's a story. It's, it goes like this, uh, Mike and John. John remembers. I first met John when we were doing the Spastics in the Younger Set. And uh, I saw John work and I thought, now, John's got personality, talent and potential. And I said, uh, well, John, how would you like to do some jobs with me around the universities and uh, stage shows and so on? And uh, so we started our friendship this way. And uh, one day John came to my place. He looked around, he saw the house, he said, gee, this place needs painting. So he stayed for a week and painted it. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a good deal. John, have you got time? It needs painting again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the places that welcomes aspiring young performers in the 50s is Stone's Milk Bar at Coogee. We used to rehearse at uh, Stone's for your dancers. Your friend, head of Australia's first rock group, the DJs, John Catfish Purser, and the other DJs, John Bolton, <laughs> Lou Witch Doctor Cash, <laughs> Keith Williams, <laughs> John Brennan, and David. Is this the uh, is this the new outfit? Yeah. Very nice. Well, How are you, Lee? Fantastic. Good to see you. And John, you and you. Catfish are on the same program as Bill Haley and the Comets on their Australian tour, I think, 1956. No. We weren't. Not sure. Well, I'll turn we another. No, we were on with we were on with uh, we were on with Little Richard uh, and Gene Vincent, and uh, uh, I went and saw Bill Haley about six or seven times. But unfortunately, I wasn't uh, to appear with him until uh, last year. Catfish, okay, you got your name from Bill Haley. Bill Haley, yeah. yeah. yes, he yeah. gave me that name, and we helped us with all our shows, and everything it was really good. You look good. You look yeah. good, Bill. <laughs> well, I wish you had have appeared with Bill Haley in those days, John, because it just spoiled my page. <laughs> He's <laughs> delighted to have you. Thanks Thank for taking your time, Johnny. Thanks, 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 Thanks,
recover and begin a pattern of overwork, exhaustion and collapse that is to be repeated frequently from this time on. Each time you come back you quote your favourite lines of Ralph Waldo Emerson. All life is an experiment. The more experiments you make the better. So what if you're kicked in the dirt and trodden on? Get up and fight because you'll never fall as hard again. After the wild one you have another hit song. It's called Shout. <laughs> night your car is wrecked in an accident on the Gold Coast. You're badly injured, your face is badly damaged. What happened then, John? We'll see in a moment. The car accident makes headlines across the nation and shocks the millions who love you as the wild one. You recover from the shock of the crack up and schedule facial surgery with the same speed with which you seem to tackle everything else. The drive that took you to the top keeps you on top with encouragements from your friends. Cole Joy, one of Australia's top entertainers, is the first to offer you help. Now tonight, Cole is uh, performing in Queensland, but he sent a telegram. Dear Johnny, the first of the new breed, I wish I could be there tonight. Continued success and good health, Cole and the boys. John, we have another telegram from John Laws. Sorry I can't be there. I hope the public gets to see the Johnny O'Keefe I have known for nearly 20 years because knowing Johnny O'Keefe is something really worth doing. Best wishes, John Laws. Thank you. Johnny, you're the biggest drawer in the business. You'd lead the explosion of rock music in Australia. Promoter Lee Gordon writes you with the top four big arena performers of the time, Johnny Ray, Little Richard and Billy Graham. Next, you burst onto the nation's television screens as the sensation of the ABC's six o'clock rock. Your producer, Peter Page, is with us in the audience tonight. Hey, Pete. This show puts you right on top. It's one of the highest rating shows the ABC ever made. You feel that this is the time to conquer the American market with your new hit song, She's My Baby. American tour is arranged by Snuffy Garrett of Liberty Records, who promotes you as the Boomerang Boy. He takes you across America from Seattle to New York in the winter months. Coming from Sydney, he has to get you a heavy winter coat. What happens then? Well, we'll let Snuffy Garrett tell you in his own words from Los Angeles. So when we went across the country working the record. It was in the uh, winter months and it was very cold. So when we got to San Francisco, we realized that we didn't have overcoats or, or heavy coats. So we went down and bought two nice big heavy coats for me and John and John bought one with a fur collar so we went from San Francisco to uh, Seattle Washington we got up there and it was snow on the ground and we were with these disc jockeys and one of the disc jockeys said hey Johnny I really like that coat you got on and John said well thank you and took it off and gave it to the guy so we had to buy John another coat in Seattle then we moved on to T Tacoma Washington where someone commented on the new coat that John had there John took it off and gave it to him. By the time we'd gotten to New York, I'd been through five coats for Johnny O'Keefe. <laughs> <laughs> Next you go to London, alone like Dick Whittington to try your luck. That city becomes a little too much. You collapse and are taken to a London hospital to recuperate. Tooting back. On your feet once more, you come home to Australia where you fight your way to the top again in a new television show at Channel 7, The Johnny O'Keefe Show. Producer from that program, Kevin Ryder, is in the audience with us tonight. The pressure of a successful TV show takes its toll with yet another breakdown, but you bounce up again with yet another success on Channel 7. Sing, sing, sing. Although we can't do nothing with the blues, we've got, we got 
And the producer director of that show, Ron Way, is our director. Ron's up in the control room right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Ron. I can't see you, but it's good to have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> With the success of Sing, 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 you have the reins of your life in hand once again. And you fight back to the top of the bill, you find an ally who believes that you can pack them in and send them out happier than anyone in the business. To launch Johnny's recording, live on the Gold Coast, I had a six-tier birthday cake made. It was 14 foot high and he had to get on a ladder to blow the candles out. A man who's flown all the way from Brampton Island to see you tonight, your friend and most constructive critic for many years, Mr. Claude Carnell. <laughs> Claude, you launch your new club, The Playroom, at Talabudra on the Gold Coast with Johnny O'Keefe and you put a very big promotion behind it. And I think that show helps you back to the top again, John. Yes, it did. It did very much so. What do you really think of Johnny O'Keefe, Claude? Well, Johnny, as far as a singer is concerned, I think he's so-so, but really, he's the greatest showman in the world. <laughs> Claude Thank you. Thanks, Claude. Once again, you travel the rock music road, putting everything you've got into your shows, and again, you burn the candle at both ends. Once again, it becomes too much and you collapse. You're on the Gold Coast, and you're too ill to make that long drive home again alone. It's then that you hear someone say, You'll be right, father. We'll fix it. <laughs> the owner of Brisbane's famous Cloudlands and a friend in need, Mr. Ivan Damon. <laughs> That night that you picked up JOK and drove him all the way to Sydney, uh, I don't think you had time to change the clothes you were wearing. No, I never had any time at all. I just had shorts and, and sandals on. John, I think you've got a nickname for Ivan. Irving H. Daydream. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. Oh, oh, and father. And father. Father. Yeah. Why do you call him father? Oh, no worries, father. Nigel will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan Damon, thanks very much for taking your part in Johnny O'Keefe's life. Thanks, Ivan. So. <laughs> Now, John, we find you at the peak of your career again, and you are finding so much more peace with yourself. You've remarried a lovely lady from Perth, Moores, Maureen O'Keefe. <laughs> Did you know about this? You were <laughs> Why don't you just sit down? Okay. Johnny, life is full of beginnings for you, and it's full of people. In a minute you'll be meeting the person I think you least expect to see here. Let me tell you how the sun's gonna shine into my heart rose. That ain't gonna be all right. Johnny O'Keefe, you have the talent and staying power that brings you through the dramatic chapters of your life, beginning as the wild one, to your newest image as Australia's ambassador of rock. Everyone says it's courage. Perhaps it's also caring about others. Today you sing in St Paul's Cathedral in Melbourne to help keep families and children together in project childcare. Yesterday it was a sound system for the Leichhardt Police Boys Club and your old friend Sergeant Reg Downton. You sing a song whose title is I Thank You to express your thanks to friends and fans. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. For all this tenderness. I thank you, I thank you, thank you for this happiness. John, that was a great song. That wasn't written by an Australian composer, was it? No, it was written by a girl that wrote, <coughs> excuse me, Mike, I'm counting on you, uh, an American uh, negress uh, whose name was uh, Alicia Evelyn. Well, John, we found Alicia in New York. We flown, flown her here to be with you tonight. The songwriter who, as you said, created I Thank You, I'm Counting on You, and heaven sent, Alicia Evelyn.
<laughs> Alicia, I think that welcome was worth coming from New York for. It was. How did you first meet? Johnny heard a song of mine in a publisher's and called me at home and wanted to discuss it with me. And I'm counting on you became a bestseller for both of you. Yes, it did. And would you believe I didn't want to see him? I was sick. And when, but when he said he was from Australia, I had to say yes. I bet you're glad you did. Very glad. And uh, I think you've had some later contact, haven't you? Yes, Johnny has been wonderful to me. First he sent a kangaroo to my daughter and then we've seen him many times and have gone out with him. He's been wonderful. Would I be here without him? <laughs> I guess not. It's been a privilege to have you. Alicia Evelyn, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Johnny, Festival Records have been counting record sales in their computer for some weeks now. And Mr. Alan Healy, Managing Director of Festival Records, is here to tell you the result. John, this is a special award from Festival to Australia's King of Rock and Roll, who's been a living legend for over 20 years and has been at the top for that time and sold over $2 million worth of records in Australia. Thanks very much. Thanks, Rob. Let me take that for a moment. You hang on, Alan, because you're going to need your hands. You're going to need both of them. Because here, to celebrate with you, are some of the great stars of the good old days of rock and roll, who are the better and the happier for knowing you. Jade Hurley. Judy Stone. Carolyn Young. Hello, Carolyn. Laurel Lee. Lonnie Lee. Good old man. Good observer, thank you. Booker Highland. Hello, Booker. <laughs> Johnny Devlin. Thanks, and Johnny Red. Johnny, John, nice to see you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Johnny O'Keefe, this is your life. Thanks, Ray. It's a privilege. Thank you.